Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! Coronavirus! Shit is real! Shit is getting real! Yo, 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 world. Thank you for tuning in to the Socially Charged, Debatable, and Dope. I'm talking about the Privileged Show. I got two of the illest co-hosts in the game with me today. I got Isaac. What up? I got Sess. Hey, what's going on? And it's your boy, Jojo Jovan. We are the Privileged Show. Miss and Dal and Lashane today, they're quarantined. <laughs> Just uh. like we are. <laughs> Just like we are. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, I would say what's been going on with y'all week, but I can't, I, I can't assume y'all been much of anywhere. So uh, let's start off with how has y'all week been? What's going on with your week, Seth? How about you, Isaac? I saw you posting a lot this week. <laughs> You're very, you're very verbose this week. What was going I, on? I ain't got nothing to do. You know, yeah. I, I, well, damn. I, ain't no, I ain't got no friends, no job. You know, <laughs> can't go nowhere. It's tough and out well. here. It's tough no, out here. Real right now. So and I mind figure. you, and mind you, raining like cats and dogs outside. I it love is. it. Like this is awesome. I love the rain. It is good. <laughs> it is. It. It's the difference for us. And I'm like, Mother Nature's definitely cleaning her, cleansing her soul. You know, okay. cleansing everything right now. So Isaac, you had a, Isaac. You were you were pretty. Your week was pretty chill. Obviously, all of our week has been pretty mm-hmm. chill. And, and Seth, what's been going on with you? I've actually started a new job this week. What you got? Job in the midst. Yeah. Let me find out. Yeah, uh. uh, and um, they they want to see me tomorrow. <laughs> so it's like it's That's not actually- an, it's not an essential <laughs> job either. So <laughs> wow. So, so we're, Will you be able to work from home? You know, that is what I'm leaning towards because it's yeah. getting realer every day. So, yeah. and, and I don't know about what's going on in your guys' neighborhood, but walking around my neighborhood, people don't seem to be pressed at all. Like, you have, we'll be walking down the sidewalk and somebody would just be walking right next to you. They're, they're not giving space. They don't have a mask. They're chilling, smiling, making eye contact. Like, Wow. I don't understand. So, they, don't, they don't believe it's real. They don't. They don't. And I'm like, I am looking at everyone like you could, everyone could be a potential mm-hmm. carrier. Yeah. So the thing about it is, I mean, we've, we've heard about, you know, that they're calling in the National Guards and stuff of things of that nature. Um, yeah. And I heard that they, they, um, I heard that what they're doing is that the National Guards are actually planning on helping with the healthcare facilities that they're planning on building and popping up, pop-up shop type style. And uh-huh. um, now what I did hear though, that is if people don't abide by and they're still trying to roam around the streets, like you're saying, and yep. like I noticed today, you know, for, for the fa- first few days of this thing, people being kind of in the house, trying to really abide by things. And now I went out, it's like, yo, I just went to go grab an L and it's mad people roaming the streets. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. This weekend, and it was, I mean, there's people just kind of like, they're not, they're not respectful of the space. People stand right next to you, like right up on you. It's just, mm-hmm. and we're wearing like our faces covered and people are still like standing right behind us. Like, yeah, you know, almost wanting to find a reason to talk to you. They seem really excited <laughs> about everything. Yeah. Some people respond to this kind of thing, you know, in a way where they they get excited. Trauma for some people is energy, I think. And for me, it's not. I, I'm shutting down. <laughs> Look at Isaac's face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isaac, is, me. Isaac going crazy right now. <laughs> Isaac, how long have you been in that room? <laughs> Off and on for the past five days, huh, right? <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. You know, I went outside a couple times, but for the most part, I was playing the crib, keeping it close. Well, you're a very social person, so it's like, yeah. I'm always at home, so... Yeah, you know it's not really that much of a change in that yeah. way. That, I got a couple of friends out here dying. They're they're they take me up. I'm like I'm like y'all gotta stop calling me, man. Like just because you're stuck in the house, that don't mean call me on a regular. Like, no, <laughs> oh, you wait, wait, y'all should have seen my face. I was in here pause for a second, like dying. I thought you really meant in me these too. streets with coronavirus. Like, your friends that dying with virus. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> not, not, not even laughing, but. My phone just keep going off. Like, stop calling me. Like, that don't make it. People want to stay connected. Yeah, well, don't. Don't. <laughs> well, wait. wait yeah. I'm so confused. So you want to go out, but you don't want people to call you. What I'm right. saying is, like, what I'm saying is, just because we're stuck in the house, that's not mm-hmm. a reason to call me more than you used to call me. I don't appreciate that. That's okay. yeah, that's, that's hilarious. I, I, that is I so bizarre. You know what I mean? And you get a certain amount of time, and you're trying to 
trying to take more of that. Like, I don't, I don't really, really swing that way. Are these, are these your female friends or your male friends? Nah, my male friends. Like, stop calling <laughs> me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, yo, like, like, okay, I get it. You're inside, you're bored. I mean, I'm inside too. Like, figure something out. You're an adult. Man, wow. Call- we all inside right now. That's funny. Right, stop calling yeah. me. You know, I had to, it, it's so much that we could talk about. It is, but it, it, it you know, I feel like uh, just for our viewers last week, we talked about, um, we, we've been running this thing. Can you can, can you tell the chick to hold on for a minute? Tell her, do, do you hear my phone going off? Like, it's yeah, fucking ridiculous, man. Yeah, like, yeah. She, who, she, like, it's frustrating me. She's it's ready. It's not even a she, it's not even a she. It's a bunch of people on my group chat. Just, but I don't know like, is that like, there's been a lot of more, like a lot more group. Like messages and stuff. It's like, oh, you guys. Give those. I'm, I'm starting to see them creep up on my phone. <sighs> yeah. yeah I mean, when we talk about our new norm, I, this is what is becoming. I mean, as we know, um, the other day, was it yesterday? D Nice, DJ D Nice, do this yeah. huge yeah. online of uh, Instagram cool. party. It was so cool. cool. It was nine hours long. So I, ch- I chimed in for maybe about 30, 45 minutes to tap in. Yeah. When I was in there, Ludacris was popping in, Michelle Obama, mm-hmm. Justin Timberlake, and yeah. to see everything, I went in at about 30K, it was about 30K people in there watching the actual live of him yeah. uh, doing his thing solo. And by the time that thing, before I left out, it was about 55K. And I'm like, yo, he did his thing. And, and when we talk mm-hmm. about this new norm, and we're gonna define that for you guys, uh, mm-hmm. both our viewers and listeners, uh, if this is teaching people a lot about what could have been done prior to mm-hmm. coronavirus, such as working, being able to work from home, you know what I mean? Such as yeah. uh, being able to stay a little bit more cleaner. I've been posting it on my rant on Facebook talking about how it's a whole virus out here and people aren't doing certain things or they are doing certain things. For example, yeah. it's mm-hmm. a whole virus out here and y'all still still walking around with dirty clothes, dirty laundry. Right. You know what I'm saying? For example, it's a whole virus out here, and y'all mm-hmm. kids still late for school. Right, you nasty. Know? Well, they're not in school anymore, so there's that. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's that. That's that funny component about it because, you know, I feel like they still should be being schooled in some 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 sort, like homeschool. Still be oh, bringing yeah. the books out. Like I don't know what plans are, but you can probably speak to that. Like for your yeah. kids, what are you doing and what, what is going on with them with school? Cause I know they're out, but how are you keeping them? So out? our teacher, my son's teacher shared a whole bunch of resources, like more than I can even possibly do probably in a week. Yeah. And because I've been working, I've been asking my daughter to you know work with them at least a couple of subjects per day. And then when he goes to his dad, hopefully they're doing the same thing over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really on the parents to, to do that. And I know some folks are not able to work because they don't have daycare. So, mm-hmm. you know, that puts parents in a really tough position. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And with that being said, has your specific food prices in your household, have they went through the roof with feeding the kids and having to care more for them and stuff? Uh, You know, I don't really notice that. Um, you know, I've got three children. I've been a parent for 20 years. Yeah, so it's like yeah. you just... You, you just know make the adjustment, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I always, when I'm buying something, I always think about who gets what, who likes what. So that's an automatic thing. I've heard people say, wow, this, you know, my children are eating me out of house and home and <laughs> and all of that. Um, my son he eats most, more of his meals at home anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, I, that's what my mom used to say about me as a child. You see her at a house and home too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about these new norms. Um, this is day what? They announced it on the 19th. So the first day of spring, we were told that we were kind of on a lockdown. And mm-hmm. um, I, I, yeah, I, I've been seeing things going around in the news. I did see on a brighter note, uh, mm-hmm. if you will, guys will, that China, 80% of their workforce is being told to that it's okay to head back to work. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And South, South Korea is wow. I think, right behind them too, with very few cases. Of them okay. getting back to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, I I mean, I feel like I don't want to do the conspiracy thing tonight. That I'm not going to do to you guys. But I do feel like I posted on Facebook the other day that Carrie Hilson was on to something when she talked about, when she mentioned uh, 5G caused coronavirus. And then she posted a couple articles under that on Twitter. Now, we all know Carrie Hilson for being a dope writer, a dope, you know, uh, 
entertainer. He's for, fine uh, as hell. Yeah. Now her, her cousin, yeah. for those of you who are not familiar with Carrie Hilson, she's, uh, Carrie Hilson came out years ago with Turning Me On. She's wrote for numerous artists. She's Polo the Don, uh, who is uh, still a very well-respected um, producer uh, and writer as well out there in Atlanta. He is... Uh, he, I guess, back in the day, is the one who encouraged her to talk to Beyonce and tell Beyonce to have some kids, sit down and have some kids. And so that pretty much, to the to our culture, deaded Carrie Hilson's uh, career as it stood. Uh, she had a hit song with Lil... Huh? She became a mother? Well, no. She was telling Beyonce to sit down and have some kids. Because this is around oh, okay. when Beyonce came out with uh, Diva. I'm a mm -hmm. Diva and uh, Bow Down. No, Bow Down. When Beyonce came out with Bow Down, and then I guess a lot of female artists or a few female artists were saying, how is she supposed to be empowering the women? And she's telling all of us to bow down, bow down, blah, 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 blah. You need to bow down and sit down and have some kids. Or I guess mm -hmm. whatever was going on. So anyway, okay. that kind of ended uh, Carrie Hilson's career. She brief, she's always been beautiful and gorgeous. So she's been doing her thing on Instagram. Uh, kind of more of a socialite. I'm sure she's still getting her writing residuals from here and there. But she came back in the news uh, just last week when she tweeted that about 5G causing coronavirus. My thoughts on that are she should have just delved into a little bit more. So what happened is her management then, she then came back and said her management had her delete the tweet or delete what she put out there. Mm -hmm. I guess so it can protect her. You saw what happened. Well, what they say happened to Nipsey Hussle and Dr. Sebi and everybody who tries, tries to attempt to shine light on these uh, bigger, bigger things that are going on in the world. Yeah. So, uh, so I can make it make it kind of quick with this five D thing because it is a layered thing. Uh, what I think our culture took from it and cultures took from it is that she was saying coronavirus five uh, G caused the symptoms of coronavirus. And while that's still probably somewhere true because of all the towers built in Wuhan, and viewers, please and listeners, please do your own research on that. Um, it's real. Uh, the bigger thing is facts. For 5G, there were all these towers in Wuhan that they were putting up all these towers for this 5G. Mm -hmm. uh, China came out last week and said, yo, I feel like the U.S. brought this over here and started this whole thing. They said specifically, this is what China said. This is what China said. China said that the U.S. troops brought the coronavirus to Wuhan. Mm. Now, a week after that, Trump then comes Trump then comes back and says, this is the Chinese virus. That's when he yeah. started referring to it as the Chinese virus. So what, skept, what's, uh, what people were saying was they don't understand why he's calling it the Chinese virus and why he's trying to turn the world and, and, the, and the Americans against China, against Chinese, China. So anyway, long story short, there's some, there's some stuff to be uncovered with that 5G situation. And, uh, the main thing about it is that China, with their race, with this race and war on 5G, China can see everything that their, their civilians are doing. So when they're talking about that this coronavirus is contained, it's because China and Hong Kong have ankle bracelets on their civilians to monitor where they're going, who they're associating with, what times uh -huh. they're doing it. And when they leave off the house, all of these 5G towers that are lined up around there are when they walk out the house, one capturing them from this side, one capturing them from this side, taking facial scans to really monitor their daily way of wow. life. Whoa. This, this last month, earlier this month, Bill Gates stepped down from Microsoft. It's been in the news, and this is episode, excuse my passion, this episode is not about 5G, by the way. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in, but I just had to shed some light on this. Uh, Bill Gates stepped down this month from Microsoft. It's been in the talks that Trump and his team have been pressing Microsoft, Google, and Facebook to allow them to become, to get the data to, to control, pretty much to control us. Mm -hmm. So the race for 5G is real. I'm not saying, and I'm not promoting anything or saying that. I'm just saying what's out there. And uh, a lot of people have been saying that we've been distracted by this coronavirus. And so when you talk about, well, what are some things that we could be being distracted from? Mm -hmm. That's possibly one. So mm -hmm. we've heard population control. We've heard gentrification. Okay. Uh, 
it's just it's just a lot going on you know so uh we talk about this new norm i do miss y'all i miss us all being together here Seth was the first one uh who, who said you know what i'm gonna see y'all when this thing is over uh, <laughs> and we were all in the chat room and they were like we're good we're this we're that we're young we're gonna live forever and i was like yeah. i'll see you guys next week <laughs> right. yeah. that's good that's good <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I I was shocked to see that Miami was still they're still partying real hard down in Miami. I was I haven't seen it, but I've heard it, and I'm really disappointed. I haven't seen it though. Yeah, yeah. Um, Didn't they finally close it down? They did finally close they, it down. Yeah. And you, you said know, no. Did they? They did. But you wow, know what's it's time. You know what's a little bit more discouraging to me is the fact that. I thought that people would catch on a little bit faster, but it's like people are <laughs> no. slow as, as right. F. And that's going to be slow. the difference, I think, between our country and the countries that got this under control is that we're not really, we're not really taking a very serious stance right. for everyone just to really sit down and allow this thing to, pla to pass. As long as people are able to still go out and mm -hmm. do whatever, it's going to spread still. Mm -hmm. So it could be months. Whereas I think that china it took them seven to eight weeks i think it's going to take our country months to get there and unfortunately that means a lot of people are going to be affected that and you know what says that's the scary part is because when they talk about this and correct me because I, I always tend to say it wrong and uh Mar hmm. Mar martial law marital martial, martial? Law. martial law uh can you guys foresee that coming yeah mm-hmm so with that in mind, that's that is in somewhat connection to the the race for five G. Wow. Well, this is what I don't control. China wants to what you were saying before. World. I haven't actually been introduced to. I have heard of think the things about five G. I've heard the things about Bill Gates from the beginning, from the mm -hmm. very beginning, of January about this. Uh, I feel like there's a little truth in everything that's being said. Um, mm -hmm. What I will say is I don't trust anybody. I feel like all of these these governments are known for propaganda they want you to believe what they want you to believe you know so i really feel like the best thing anyone can do is to read up on as much as they can and do your best to protect yourself there's no one looking out individually for you so i don't think you should take anything that anyone says to you for face value yeah uh, and it's fun. really on your own in this one because yeah they're not, they're not they're not thinking about us as individuals you have to think about yourself and, you, and your loved ones as individuals that's the okay. best you know you have to choose what's best for you in this okay. case because okay. you got to live with the outcome agreed agreed and the and, and the accountability for it you know mm -hmm. uh, i saw someone post to bring our our facebook users and viewers in saying users anyway uh i had, uh, I, had I, I came across a post today and somebody was like yo i unfriended somebody for uh, what did they say? I am friend to somebody for um, because they were a Trump supporter, and I said, "Yo, I would have left them." Oh, it was after they said specifically, "I had to all, I had to unfriend an African American male for being a Trump supporter." I said, "Yo, I think you should have left them on there because it's a difference of opinion." Mm -hmm. I mean, I have friends that I went to high school with and grew up with that support Trump, and I know that they've said to me that they went to vote for him. But my rebuttal to this conversation to this guy on Inst on the, on Facebook was the oh, that's not gonna make me that that makes me I'm a debatable person. I, I like to talk it out, solution I you know the work those type of things understand. Mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't mean we have to agree. But I'm not gonna unfollow you just because you fought, you mess with Trump. Like we I don't trust Hillary. Hillary. I don't trust Hillary either. Pain. We all have our tolerance for pain. There's just certain things we can put up with. So. Yeah. <laughs> If that's something that angers him, I'm not gonna judge somebody off of what they do. No, agree. Now, what I will say is, I also commented to him, I'm almost ready to unfollow some of the more ignorant people that still having house gatherings and out at these clubs than me right. yeah, following a Trump supporter. You no, know, right. that's the kind of thing that, yeah, that would get me. Like, if I know, like, just your basic philosophies don't line up with mine, then I don't need to see your stuff because I might get triggered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta stop and pause. That background, your background, Seth, is not, we're not here, obviously, in the studio, guys, because we're all the coronavirus quarantine uh, lockdown. But mm -hmm. that background you got is sick. She's carrying on the privilege <laughs> show, House Hill Dreams. Yeah, that's sick. 
this is my man's setup, you know. So Got this, it. this is all him. Got <laughs> it. We might be handing on over there once this corona is over. <laughs> uh, you know, Dad will be here to fill us in on some celebrity gossip and stuff. Uh, you know, I, I didn't really see a lot of, I, there's things going on, but people just trying to figure it out. TikTok is, is trending right now. Uh, Isaac is doing, is doing well on TikTok, right? Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. No, my, my TikTok, my TikTok sucks. Why? I thought you had like a <laughs> trending video. I do. It's got like about five hundred thousand views. But that's no, only one video. Though. It's only one video. I is stopped that, it. Today. Is that for Lil Me? Uh, no, that's for the um something I did for True TV. Got you. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, that. That's 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 all hot content. You want to know a random thing is trending on TikTok? Okay, mm -hmm. so. Kids are recording, like, okay. They're recording these fake phone calls just in case you get into an Uber with a creepy person. You can play this phone call. And in that phone call, that person says, hey, what's going on? You're supposed to be here. By the way, we got your GPS, so we know that you're close. Mom's waiting for you at the door, hurry up. You know, So that driver will know that you've got right. people that can track you and expect right. you. Right. So that's <laughs> like hundreds of uh, nearly thousands of these fake video calls that are being uh, circulating and they're really creative some of them actually sound like real phone calls but my yeah, thing is cool. like why not just call somebody if you're in a creepy uber ride <laughs> yeah agreed agreed and i'm glad you shared that because that takes me to uh, a, a story that i did see we call it the bizarre post i guess uh mm -hmm. There in some, and I'll find it for y'all to, to have the clip up for you guys on Thursdays for everyone that's watching and tuned into the Privilege Show. And thank you guys again. Uh, Mondays the podcast drops, uh, Thursdays the visuals drop. Uh, I came across a post that they were playing the purge music in like in the streets. Like for like, say right now you went out in the streets and you was walking your dog, you hear yeah. the purge music playing around in the speakers. You like they're doing wow. that to get people to go to go in the house. Wow. Oh. Yeah, okay. so I don't know what type of speaker setup they had, and I'll find the video so we can watch it on Thursday together. Uh, but they had that purse playing loud, and people was in the, in the middle of the street looking like, yeah, get y'all ass in the house, bro. Get in the house, yeah, you know? Get in the house. Uh, celebrity news, biggest celebrity news that I personally have is Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein. has the coronavirus. Yes, he does. How? Yeah, our, our viewers and our, our, our fans was asking like, yo, he's in jail. How did he get the coronavirus? Well, it's like so, him and someone else, I believe. But yeah. How, well, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? So what I, from my understanding, they were in an isolated facility. It wasn't in the whole actual jailhouse where all of the thousands or hundreds of inmates are at. They were yeah. actually, him and these other people were in like a smaller, isolated, rich people. Mm -hmm. type of place uh they were in transit to another facility and i guess with this whole outbreak going on they were tested harvey weinstein tested positive uh, at mm -hmm. first it was rumored like okay maybe he's testing positive but when that thing hit the fan harvey got it so you know i don't get it well well i'll tell you what he's snitching so nah. he and he and they're telling on everybody they mad at him right now. Now that part, who? But you heard of him talking to Tony. Believe somebody? that? I did. That's I uh, listen. I don't know firsthand because I'm not there. But the word is he in there dropping dimes on the whole industry. That's the word. Yeah. But you know, again, I'm not there. So what so would it suit him? Like it's not like he's gonna get like less time, right? Well, you no, know, it's it's gonna go from 55 years to 23 years or something like that. Oh, did anyway, but I think he wants to just tell, like, period. Yeah, I was going to say, he's going to be out of there by the time that's all said and done. I mean, 23 years, though, I don't think he's going to make Maybe it Maybe they gave him the coronavirus on purpose. Right, I mean... Right. Listen, now I'm following you guys. With the you know, I mean, listen, <laughs> hey, you know, I don't put nothing past nobody. Okay. No, 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 I agree with you, with your, both of y'all on that. Now, Takashi 6 9 mm. is being released. In August, right? In August, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, we won't we don't even have to go much into him, but Fifi, <laughs> Fifi was still my shit, still my shit. Uh, yeah, Takashi Six Nine will be out. I don't quite know how that's gonna look. I will say that I know that he's gonna need mad security and be paying out a lot of money for people to mm -hmm. protect him yeah. from being assassinated. Trump didn't even get you know, not right. so we're talking about Takashi who. The guys that, you know, he kind of ratted on, if you will, uh, they still in there doing their time. And bro about to get out of the street. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, wow. Yeah. Now, 
Uh, another quick celebrity news before we jump into a, 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 your music, some music, new music, Isaac. Um, I don't know no music. I ain't heard nothing. You ain't heard We've been in. I haven't. I haven't turned. I haven't turned music on at all. How so do you feel? Amazing. I got a question for you, Isaac. How do you feel about all these DJs going live? And I mean, I, I think it's creative because they had a dance hall one a couple days back. Also, I think that it's going to keep people, you know, just. I mean, it's almost like um, like a marketing tool for them because all it's going to do is just bring more awareness to them. No one's no one's going outside or shouldn't right. be. So right. you're getting way more views, which mm-hmm. means that somebody like D Nice, who is, you know, um, up there in age in the fifties, who's who has a great career, who's been around for a long time. I mean, mm-hmm. he's kind of falling off. But this right here got people buzzing, talking about him again. So, mm-hmm. you know, it was, it was definitely a smart, a smart business move. Okay. Sure. That's yeah. my now, n- now, I'm glad you asked that too, Seth, because I, you know, started and come from the dance community and dance industry. Uh, mm-hmm. and there's, you know, with this coronavirus situation taking over our life as we know it, uh, the mm-hmm. new norms or the norms as we knew, they're no longer and we can hopefully look forward to getting back to them i think that our economy is going to take a, a harder hit uh than the death toll but again i'm not the oracle i don't know that specific right. count. Okay. uh but to to your point mm-hmm. the djing is one thing i see the dancers are starting to teach live classes on instagram and I facebook comedians, comedians and yeah. they're doing it earlier and i had this conversation with somebody earlier colleague earlier uh mm-hmm. they're doing it because we kind of have to transition into new ways of our, our life and our new norms if you guys will but right. i feel like when this thing is over that's low-key oh. fucking up the money for what's for you know what i'm saying it's not messing up the money but it's now we gonna have to work even hard. not us specifically but the DJs, the people who did teach dance classes for a living and worked hard, now people see, oh, I could teach a dance club on live. But right. the problem is, it's just like before we went on live and comedians or artists or, you know, how even comedians, you guys, comedians, actors, actresses and actors would go to say the comedy store, comedy club. Is it called a comedy mm-hmm. store? The, uh, the comedy store is a is a place in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, so, but I, I don't, man, I, I disagree with you. Like, I feel like this takes the middleman out. For those who don't have exposure, you've got an audience that's primed and ready to hear what you have to say or do. So while D-Nice is winning, and I seen Questlove earlier, I mean, I'm excited about every person that gets on and tries something that they've never done. I like that thought. Not, everybody, not everybody's gonna win, you know, but like for all the actors and actresses of people I know right now that are crying because they can't make any money, and I mean I understand that. But if you, if you love what you do, you'll find a way to to right. do that on. And there's a lot of money to be made online. There's a lot of people paying their rent and more with just putting stuff together on Facebook and YouTube. And I just hope that we can be monetized for the stuff that we put up. That's the thing I'm concerned about. Mm-hmm. When that YouTube chip stops coming, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, that part. That you know? part for sure. Yeah, because I, I I do. And while I did say that, I I guess I was coming from a place of uh, hmm. being around singers and other talent who are really working hard and putting years into it. Yeah. And then you have these new people, and you, we talked about making it in Hollywood last mm-hmm. episode or a few episodes back. And mm-hmm. w- you know. It, it's, it's almost to me that concept, but I also hear what you're saying on a bigger scale when it comes to us. Yeah, get in where you fit in. Yeah, join but the, see, here's the thing. The, so here's the, the here's the thing. Here's the thing. What? And it's not so much of a Monique thing when it comes to the pay, Netflix pay, Amy, Amy, whatever her name was, Amy Schuler, Shimmer. Uh, but as y'all being comedians, mm-hmm. so say for Ann Schumer, Amy mm-hmm. Schumer, y'all come in, y'all got y'all ready. Y'all been hustling and bustling y'all butts off for all these years. Um, mm-hmm somebody else come in and you know the same mutual person of a Barry Gordy standard or somebody who got plugged pretty much. Uh-huh. Uh, you've been knowing them for years. That's your connect. A new person come in town and they got a little bit more, you know, pizzazz, a little bit more money. They can afford to be out a little bit more and socialize because we've mm-hmm. been doing our thing. So here's what happened. They end up saying, yo, I'll take the job for a little less than what they taking it for. So now that's when I say it's messing up the game but then it's also the flip side to where, yeah, it's beautiful because hopefully, you know, we can still work and get stuff and jobs and, and, and create. But it, mm-hmm. I, I'm kind of putting into that analogy. It's like, yo, it's like a, a person who's been busting their game this whole time. And then you got people who are like, oh, let me just teach for free. After this coronavirus uh, epidemic pandemic is over, 
narrow everybody gonna be teaching for free. So is it a point to have dance studios no, anymore or comedy what? clubs? Guess what though? And especially how things work online, you working in technology, you know this, that we offer something for free, we build a fan base, and then we start a monetization or some sort, yeah. right? You start, yeah. you start with packages and access and stuff like that. Right now is a great time for anyone that creates content or things that people look for online to test out your product. And if you can sustain an audience, you can get people to follow you, then you got to figure out how to monetize those people. I like that. I you know like that. So it's like, you know, as a as an instructor, if I was a fitness instructor, I'm going to make more money by selling it to the masses versus teaching a class. Why would I choose anything but that? And to be honest with you, there's enough, I mean, there's enough room out here for everybody to win. I want to live in a world where I can say, you know what, I want to look for a fitness instructor that's 40 plus, that's had three kids and likes African drum music and find her. And that's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Give me an option. Real, I hear so you. I'm here I... for all of that. I'm here I for hear. the I'm here for the middle aged woman that wants to put on 15 wigs and and tell me jokes about being middle aged. I'm he, I'm an audience member. I'm tuning in, so it gives us opportunity for us to really refine our taste to what we really want. And and for those who don't fit the mode of being in Hollywood, for those who were here who have been here forever and never got in, this right here might be the stage that you needed. And see, you have oh. me thinking a different perspective and that <laughs> and that is the Isaac what do you think premise. yeah what do you think about that Isaac I mean I think it's been going on at Dan America's for the past yeah years. Look, yeah look, look, look at I'm not, I'm not I mean come on I mean look at how they can, people come and they work for less yeah good job I mean this, this, yeah. this, this is the, the American way you know so I think with this platform it's just open enough for more people to, to have an opportunity to to get in you know what I mean um whether I think it's the right or the wrong, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. Either 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 get either get down with the new wave or get rolled over. That's kind of how it comes. That's what it is, man. That's, it is that, that, that's that. Now I'm I'm interested because I don't think we've heard uh about what do you feel, what is the what do you think the and I'll I come back to you too, Seth, but what do you think Isaac is gonna be the new wave after this thing is over? Do you think we're gonna return back to clubbing immediately? People are gonna be hitting the malls right away. Like what do you think is gonna be the new norm? I think that people are stupid, so they will be. You know, I think that, <laughs> I think that, that nobody realizes, yeah, okay, this is a, a, a flu, in a sense, right? A disease, but it's bigger than that, you know? Yeah. And don't take everything for face value. So, mm -hmm. you know, here we are, we're all, we're all inside and we're all ready, ready to get out. We can get out, we're out partying again. But what you don't realize is this has never happened before, mm -hmm. not in my lifetime. So right. there's a major switch. Regardless of if you see it, mm -hmm. visually or not, there was a switch that, that, that's that been made. So there is a switch. Say, there's definitely something gonna be different. Now, I can't say what it is, but it's gonna be different for sure. Now, for sure. And, and to your, to, to, to that, I will say that I have to agree with you. There is a switch and as we know it, I don't, I can't say that I can see life returning to how it was before this happened. I felt like global warming, pollution, mm -hmm. mother nature needing to reset itself. Uh, the way we as the human race have been treating each other and the earth, I feel like it's this just resetting itself right now. I feel mm -hmm. like it's also that to the to the higher ups the, where we used to see back in the day with movies like Total Recall and stuff. I feel like now mm -hmm. they're they're gonna say now is the time for that. Here's the reset. We can do a lot of shit online. Mm -hmm. We can, we don't have to drive everywhere. The Teslas can take Absolutely. us everywhere. You know, so that's that reset. Technology that industry about. has embraced people like, you know, telecommuting and whatnot. Yeah. But there's a ton of industries that are behind that, you know, and I'm just like, at this point, we have so many project management tools, yeah. you know, a shared workspaces and things like that, where I'm hoping that companies will kind of re, re, you know, evaluate the whole need for people to come into the office so they can actually save more money for mm. people working from home. Yeah. I'm that's here right. for that. Yeah, that's factual. I agree. I agree. Um, your new norm. What can do you agree with Isaac when he when when we say that or when he said that it it would mm -hmm. never be the same as we knew it before as we knew it. I, I honestly think that we won't be the same, and there's worse things to come. And I think that's why we won't be the same. Right. I just really think that we're we're gonna, if not experience it ourselves but people close to us are going to experience some very devastating things and how can we be the same after that i just there's no way 
Which no is way. devastation. Are you speaking specifically about the deaths told or the economic the financial? People, people affected by this in terms of deaths, uh, people, economics, people who've invested money, losing money on the stock market. I mean, what's going to happen in terms of like the housing and all just everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything is going to be different. Yeah. I mean, I still got to pay rent and I ain't got no job. That's the, and that's the thing that a lot of us are going to have to figure out. If even I was talking to a friend who said he didn't pay for this month because he was like, I need to have some cash just in case things get worse. So you got folks that have money or that or that may not be quick to give it away because you, you can't really go, you can't plan from week to week. I can't, I don't know how, you know, you know what I'm saying? And if you think you can, I, I think you're going to be in for a surprise. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I, they're, doing, they're doing a slow rollout. I mean, I see the pace of it, but it's going to get pretty extreme here before it, it gets better. Well, that sounds a little bit, uh, uh, I won't say scary. I, I have a lot of faith and, you know, I'm not scared. Okay. I'm just yeah. saying it, uh, it sounds a little, I can't quite find the word. It sounds a little bit, uh, I can't find the word, but it sounds a little bit dismantling if you will for better terms it sounds you a little you faith? Huh? You faith yeah you you hit your listen that's the right thing to say right there mm-hmm. yeah I mean, you got faith. and i hope people heard you and those that do have faith they keep practicing their faith because that's what we're gonna need right about now seriously right. seriously and thank you, you for chiming in time. and saying that because yeah, we are going to need the faith. We, you know, I, I jokingly said it a couple episodes ago. Yo, find a prayer, prayer closet, a, a broomstick. I was saying it to say. You know what? <laughs> serious. To get in that closet and, and really dig and, and do some introspect. Like, I, not much has changed for me as far as the things I've been doing. I've, you know, outside of work, I've pretty much always been in the studio creating and working on new concepts and new show ideas and making sure that mm-hmm. we can all reach our dreams some way, somehow through my capacity or whatever House Hill Entertainment can bring. But other than that, I'm mm-hmm. chilling. I'm tearing up old mail and throwing stuff away. You know what I'm saying? I'm spring cleaning the closet, making sure my clothes and socks is together, whatever that may look like. Hilarious. You know, but it, I, I will say that I said dismantling because we spoke about it briefly earlier when we said, um, you know, China's cured and 80% of them are going back to work, but is there, uh, and help me to understand, is the population in the United States, all 50 states, 50 plus, whatever, 50, excuse me, Isaac, you know, we go back and forth with that <laughs> number game when it comes to the, the, the world. Uh, we have a, does China have the bigger population? And we do. I feel like they China. do, right? Yeah, I think China does. So, so people. I'm, I'm thinking when we talk about forecasts of where this thing could be headed. But the difference it, is, is their, their lockdown is in, is an actual lockdown. And they force people, they force people to uh, to stay at tested. home. It, but they, they, they wanted to figure out who had it and who didn't. And when people were out in the streets, like you needed to be, I think every household had one person designated to go out to get, you know, food, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And, but you, you know, they rel- they regulated all of that. So it's not this walking down the street on Ventura Boulevard and a couple <laughs> smiling, holding hands, walking their dogs, you know, right. walking next to me. It's not the same scenario. Yeah, yeah, Plus yeah. they all had on masks and things like that. It was a true lockdown and we're not doing that. We're not doing that right now. Because so. they, they, they had a, a severe attack. So I think that us as Americans, it's not so serious. It's not so serious. Oh, but the numbers are growing, even though they even though they have stopped testing people. Mm-hmm. If they were to test everyone, you would find that those numbers would inflate. Right. Exactly. But see, we don't. We're not. We're not seeing it, or we're not hearing about it. As, it's out of sight, out of you know, mind. Right. Exactly what that is. And, yep. and that's how we operate. We think like, oh, not me. It won't happen to me. Yeah. I mean, that's what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. What's going on right now? You gotta be careful. Well, I will say, you know, as much as I can say when I came on earlier, I'm like, yo, I can't complain about nothing. I can, but I can't. One thing I will say is I've pretty much always been a tidy person. I've said that a few times throughout our season. And, you know, I'm sure we all are tidy. Y'all plays a little dope. Y'all are tidy. Y'all never smell any of that hygiene great. Anyway, uh, all of that to say, one thing that is a bother to me is having to literally wipe everything down. Like going to the store to get a soda or get a pop, as we call it in Chicago, and you having to walk in the door, 
take mm -hmm. the gloves off or now take the wipe or the Purell, wipe the bottle down, wipe the doorknob down, the front and back, wipe the car down. It's like, come on now. But I can't yeah. risk, <laughs> I can't risk now that they've released how long this coronavirus lives on surfaces and finding out that it is, can live in the air for three up to three hours. Now I'm like, yo, don't touch none, don't touch your face, wash the dogs, you know. Yeah. All of that, y'all. Um, Drink hot um, water. Drink a lot. Of, drink a lot of warm water. You know, um, they got mm -hmm. a remedy that you can um to, to clear out your nasal and your throat. Mm -hmm. uh, you mix it with like there's gonna be lime, uh, lime peel, lemon peel, uh, onion peel. You boil it to it steams, then you let just you just put your face over it for about 15 minutes and inhale, okay. inhale the fumes, and it'll help clear out your your pathogen. You know, it might not seem like a big deal, and it might not be, but Every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. Got you. Now, is that why I'm saying people like to it? But everyone's not. So just take precaution. Do what you need to do. Just you know, keep yourselves healthy. That's why I'm drinking hot water right now. Oh, I thought that water. was a hot toddy or something. But you know, some water. So yeah. Um, you can use pipe, you know. Do y'all predict before we hop up and hop on up off this episode? Uh, yeah. y'all predict us uh going past April 19th? I think so. I I, I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, hey, I hope, hope not, but listen, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't put no path. No. Well, we do know that the, the numbers are gonna go up for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw I was a little discouraged by that today saying uh, one of I want to say New Jersey some one of the the health officials was saying uh, it's it's okay we're all going to get it it's a matter of time it's only a matter of time before we no, are and, that, and I hope that's not the strategy because not everybody's going right. to make it Keep and just to raise some clarity yeah just, millions, millions of people have died that's what I've been hearing but I mean is that, is that the, the go to like whoever makes it makes it Man, <laughs> y'all better change how y'all eat. Yeah, no, yeah. for real. We had salad today. <laughs> y'all heard about Philly, right? What's going on in Philadelphia? Uh, Wait, what's going on with that? The low key purse? Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, like is that real? Well, I did see a posting. Now let me let me check that. I haven't heard hey, anything hey, else about it since. Hey, didn't Meek Mill respond to that? Like. Almost on some like, yeah, y'all be careful. It's going down out here, type shit. Oh, he he responded and said, uh, y'all, yeah, he said y'all still be careful or something. Like, yeah, pretty much like that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I'm looking at Philly, Philadelphia residents. I'm not saying I want to. I don't want to say it was a hoax, right? But what I did see, uh, there's nothing up for the last eight hours on that. It was just saying pretty much that. Well, what the hoax post was saying is that it was pretty much kind of listing out some things, that, giving people a list of crimes that they can commit or do. Oh, while the that. Is going okay. on. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they didn't want to take anybody even to book them or any of that to avoid the plague from getting into the jail system. So right. I I'm unless you're murdering, and raping, and shit like that. Yeah, so, it's, it, is that on the list? No, you can't. You can't murder and rape. Do okay. Else. okay, well, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so, so, okay, no, this was an update from them on the 22nd. Uh, under the stay at home order for Philadelphia, all public gatherings are prohibited. All residents must stay at home unless they're engaged in things like same stuff we're going through buying goods and food, seeking medical attention, caring for family members, friends, or pets, delivering goods mm -hmm. and exercise. To me, Mm -hmm. That sounds like a pretty open list. I could be heading to uh, Isaac's house or your Seth's house, and I'm like, shit, uh, you know, I'm going to take care of a, re a relative. Yeah. Right. So now got, I feel like with I've that got in one mind, more for you. Uh, yeah. the, the DOG wants to suspend certain constitutional rights during the coronavirus emergency. And one of those is, I think, a right to a fair trial, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I huh. saw that. That's deep. That's deep, where they're trying Hello, to pretty much keeping, pe keeping people incarcerated longer, right? Yeah, it's on the Rolling really? Stone website. Wow. Yeah, that's deep. I mean, I think it's more so like, if you get arrested, we forego the whole trial judge situation and we do what we want with you. Yeah. You know? Wow. Whoa. 
Now, <laughs> right? <laughs> now, uh, the, I had to find that before we before we ended our, our episode. And hopefully everybody mm-hmm. is staying encouraged out there. Thank you again for tuning in to the Socially Charged, Debatable, and Dope Privilege Show. Uh, I did have to find that. So it was a New Jersey, a top New Jersey health official that stated, I'm definitely going to get coronavirus. We all are. So if I was a resident of New Jersey, I would be highly concerned. And it's spreading pretty fast through New Jersey, isn't it? Yeah, they say right now, oh, uh, even at the last 48 hours, that New York happens to be one of the, the epicenter for coronavirus in the United Shut States, up. topping yep. over 10,000 10, cases right now. And we're, like, we're like a week or two behind them, aren't we? Are we like a week behind them? I want to say a uh, week behind. With what somebody, New York somebody somebody like they were doing in New York. You know, say again. Someone in New York that I know got they uh, they they contracted the virus. They had the virus. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. Did they pass away? They did pass away. No, they're young. You know, um, it's just but it's real though. Like you know, when it hits home, like yo, it's touching people. Yeah, and unfortunately, I think that's what's gonna have to happen when you find out people that you know, you know, are going through this. It's gonna become real to most people. I was I posted a video for something else I do on YouTube. And this guy was like, you're talking about this fake virus. People immediately swooped in and started talking about people that they knew and stuff. And he was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, that was a real statement. Yeah, you right. You wrong yourself you with that. that. Moment. You actually said that, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he hung himself, hung himself with that. It, you know, you got to be very careful about the sensitivity this thing i've even saw someone post how dare people try to compare hiv to the coronavirus and social media is so opinionated that i don't think people are necessarily comparing hiv to the coronavirus i think that what's happening is i even from my perspective i was saying how people the stigmas around hiv and how people look at people and individuals with hiv like they're the most disgusting is people in the world but right. now we're at a 7-eleven or a walmart and somebody's sneezing we looking at them like i'm about to knock your head off i did that today <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I built the oven and then the guy looked at me like damn it I'm like yeah i know we're both saying damn it <laughs> right right <laughs> one two but I caught you, and I don't want you to sneeze either. So I, I get that. Yeah. So it's it's like yeah, no discrimination against nobody. But right now yeah. it is what it is. I'm saying my point of saying that is, uh, if I did happen to offend any, any of our listeners or viewers, which I don't think that I did, but just mm-hmm. to clarify what I said when I mentioned that uh, HIV in connection with uh, coronavirus is, I was attempting to say that it's no discrimination either way. And I think once this thing is over, when we talk about new norms, which is our new norms, the title of this episode, what we can look forward to hopefully is that when this thing is over, people will see that we all bleed the same. We all cry the same, all of that good stuff. You know, we all don't think the same. And this taught me how woke people really, how woke people really are during these mm-hmm. times. So, uh, mm-hmm. I've enjoyed you guys. I had a great, great, great episode. Uh, anything y'all want to leave the viewers and listeners with before we head out? Just, you know, make sure that you wash your hands, you know what I mean? Um, make sure that you take care of yourself, you know, and, uh, and, and, and pray, you know, oh. and just, and just understand this is real. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not a game in any way. So take it serious. Yeah. yeah. I would piggyback on that and say, if you go out in public, cover your face, cover your nose. If you can wear glasses or something, you know, just to create a barrier. You don't know if you're walking into a mist of someone Mm, or whatever. It can stay in the air for hours. You know what I'm saying? So I know that we're not in this country. We're not used to that. And especially as people of color showing up with masks and stuff might might (laughs) make people feel uncomfortable, but it's about your health. So I would just get very used to the idea of that, you know, you need to do what you need to do to protect yourself. Yeah, that's that's yeah. good. That's good. And uh, I mean, for me, I'll leave our listeners and viewers with, yeah, the same thing that my co-host said, my great co-host said, protect yourself, wash your hands. Um, stay at home. Stay home. Yeah. There's a trending hashtag. There's a, a, a thing going on to support <laughs> this whole thing. Stay home. Hashtag stay home. Uh we took that that was a, a segment in our last episode. You know, this isn't a, again, like they said, it's not a joke. Uh we do support and promote nothing but facts and the truth as much as we can. So continue to check the CDC website, cdc.com, continue to check cnn.com. And on Mondays, check out the Privilege Show podcast on Apple, Spotify, 
Deezer, YouTube, Stitcher, SoundCloud, all that good stuff. Uh, coming to y'all 8 a.m. Mondays, a uh, Pacific Standard Time, always. That's a tongue twister to me. And then we bring y'all the visuals uh, on Thursday. So we'll see y'all then. Okay. Until next time. All right, Peace. Y'all. Privilege show. I'll check y'all later. Y'all be safe out here. Okay. Too. Bye. Peace, y'all. Yep.